I think we are coming to realise that the dose of radiotherapy to the heart is increasingly important and influencing outcome for our patients. I think this is coming on the back of the RTO G617 study where sort of subgroup analysis has shown that cardiac dosimetric measures um, do seem to be predicting uh, for outcomes. So the higher the cardiac dose, the worse the outcome seems to be. So what we've done in Sheffield is look at our sort of patient based patients that we treated between 2010 and 2015 and run a sort of retrospective analysis looking at the cardiac doses given to those patients. It's a little different to the reported um, trials because our patients are treated with uh, generally accelerated radiotherapy regimes, uh, regimes like CHART, where the treatment is given three times a day over 12 days. Um, and we use chemoradiotherapy in a sequential setting rather than the concurrent setting, which is where a lot of the current evidence has come. Um, and in the sequential setting on our analysis, what we found is that the cardiac dose um, factors also seem to predict for outcome and perhaps seem a little more important than the standard clinical factors such as stage, um, patient sex and um, histology in terms of predicting outcomes. So I think this is raising, con heightening the concern about uh, cardiac effects. Um, methods of dealing with that at the moment, I think we're at the very early stages of understanding this. I don't think we yet know which bits of heart are most important. So I think certainly we need further research. Uh, in the short term, I think we probably need to try and start paying more attention to the heart and the doses the heart's receiving, limiting it with um, modern techniques like um, IMRT and um, more conformal radiotherapy. Um, and using those mechanisms to try and improve patient outcome.